Hey guys, this is episode 7 of Paddle Showdown, a series on this channel where we take a look at two paddles at different price points to see if the higher price of the more expensive brand leads to better performance or if the cheaper brand is better overall value. Today, we'll be taking a look at a comparison that several viewers have requested, the highly anticipated Thrive Azul against a paddle that people have been saying is a cheaper option, the Mark Kinetic. In my recent review of the Mark Kinetic, I described it as a stiffer feeling double black diamond with more pop and power, which is similar to how other reviewers have described the Azul. So when I finally got my hands on an Azul, I wanted to compare the two side by side. Both of these are thermoform hybrid paddles with rounded tops and 16mm cores. The Kinetic has a length of 16.25 inches with a width of 7.7 tapering down to 7.5 inches and it has a 5.3 inch handle. Meanwhile, the Azul is listed at 16.3 inches in length, 7.7 .7 inches in width, and a slightly longer 5.5 inch handle, though when I put the two paddles side by side, I didn't notice the difference in length and the usable handle length for both was the same. For the surface, both paddles use a blend of Kevlar and carbon fiber, but we'll touch upon that later and first start with maneuverability. To look at this, let's take a look at the swing weight measurements for both paddles. For those of you who don't know what this metric is, swing weight basically quantifies the effort required to swing the paddles, so a higher number means a paddle will be slower to swing and less maneuverable, while a lower number means the paddle will be quicker to swing. Now the Kinetic I have has a swing weight of 116, which is about average for a hybrid shaped paddle. The Azul I tried also has a swing weight of 116, but the unique thing about the Azul and Thrive paddles in general is how you can actually select which swing weight you want at checkout on their website. For the Azul, the options range from 115 to 119, and because of this customization, I'm gonna give the edge here to the Azul because it gives you that flexibility for swing weight. Next, let's take a look at power and pop. Power is how much force we can apply on the ball given a full swing like a baseline drive. Meanwhile, for pop, we'll be taking a look at how fast the ball comes off the paddle face on contact with limited movement from the paddle, so dwell time will also be measured here. Starting with power, now while both the Azul and Kinetic are harder hitting paddles than the Double Black Diamond, it's the Azul that comes out on top here with more power. Similarly for the Pop, the way their Kevlar blended surfaces are applied makes both paddles stiffer than many carbon fiber paddles on the market, but between the two, it's the Azul that comes out on top again. I think the Azul is closer in both categories to the 6.0 Black Diamond but because of its different surface material, I think it's a bit more controllable, as it provides a bit more dwell time. Now because the Kinetic isn't as stiff and poppy as the Azul, for the control category, it comes out on top here. Moving on, we'll take a look at the spin both paddles can generate. Both paddles use similar surface materials and also have a resin texture left by a peel ply imprint on top of it. As with many of the other thermoform paddles out there, both of these produce high amounts of spin, and one isn't noticeably better than the other, so this category will be a tie. For the sweet spot, let's start by taking a look at the twist weight measurements. For the Azul, the one I tried has 6.61, while the Kinetic I used has a 6.55. Although this Azul does have a higher measurement, this is a metric where there can be a bit of a variance. For example, another Azul with the same 116 swing weight could come with a higher or lower twist weight than the 6.61, and also, the difference between 6.61 and 6.55 is so small that playing the two paddles side by side, there wasn't a noticeable change in the horizontal sweet spot and forgiveness. As for the sweet spot on the vertical axis, both paddles were basically the same in length, and I would rank the overall sweet spot as a tie for both as well. Lastly, let's take a look at the overall value of both paddles. I wouldn't say that the two are the same exact paddle. While I think they both lean towards power, the Azul provides more juice than the Kinetic, so if you were looking for power that's similar to the Black Diamond, I would recommend checking out the Azul. On top of that, you do get customization at checkout with being able to select the swing weight from a range, and Thrive also provides a personalized card which shows other measurements like static weight and balance point. That said, the Kinetic is a quality product as well that is $50 cheaper. It's not any worse compared to the Azul. It just has a bit less power and pop, and you don't get the customization, but if those things don't matter to you, the Kinetic is a much better value. Basically with the Azul, you're paying $50 more for that extra power, customization, 
and stack card information of the paddle, which to some people, this can be worth it. Overall, both the Azul and Kinetic are quality paddles on the market, and it's really up to you to decide what you value more, saving money or having those extra options. Personally, I prefer the Kinetic mainly because it is a bit more controllable for my own game, but that's just me. If you do want to pick either one of these up, I've added links in the video description below that can get you a discount off your order from their websites. Yeah. <laughs>